Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Saturday. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory, give you honor, give you adoration. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for everything that you've done in our lives from the month of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. All the glory to you. Holy Spirit, over to you. Less of me and more of you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Happy Saturday. Happy New Month. If I've not told you, Happy New Month. Well, welcome to the month of November, double digits, one, one. Meaning that you're going to experience double testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. This was just a body that kept coming to me, you know, so I had to quickly record it. And it's just to talk to somebody about the three stages you need to go through or you need to do in this month of November. For that person that you're actually at the edge of, not at the edge, you've given up. All the smiling that you're putting up is actually deep down your heart. I don't know what it is that's made it hot, you know, whatsoever it is. It might be expectations that was cut short. It might be testimonies that has been delayed. It might be the promises that God has made for you that is not coming true. It might be that you started the year in greatness and now you're looking at the end of the year. It's not happening. There are three things that you must do. Three things. And sometimes, you know, as children of God, there are certain things we'll go through. Especially in some stages in our lives, maybe like... um. You are expecting some certain things and it hasn't come because you need to pass through these three stages. And in this month of November, these are the things you need to analyze and look at it. That which area am I in? What area should I follow? The Bible says in Galatians 4 verse 19, Galatians 4 19 says, Until Christ is formed in you. There are some things that, you know, the moment you give your life to Jesus, we expect everything to be rosy. In fact, as a new bride, you're so happy. You see your husband, you're smiling. I'm like, oh, I'm newly married. Just notice the moment you get married, the first six months, you're all shaky. Oh, I'm a newly married lady. These are Then when you begin to talk to women that have been married for some time, they will just laugh at the new bride because why? Welcome to a brand new world. It's not going to be all rosy. That's the same way with the marriage we have with Jesus Christ. And there are three things that we must note. And we must go through. As a result of these three stages, you know what will happen? Eventually, when your testimony comes or it doesn't even come, it doesn't affect your faith. It doesn't shake you. It makes you even stand stronger. The first stage is conception. Conception. Conception in John chapter 2, 21 verse 15. God asks the question, how much do you love him? There has to be intimacy. God's love for you is clear and compelling. But the question is, how much do you love him? Do you love him because of everything that you are getting? Or you love him not on what you are expecting, but because you just love Jesus. Now, if you are in that stage of conception, the stage of, you know what? I love you, Lord. I'm intimate with you no matter what. That which is making you down will not make you down. That which is discouraging you will not discourage you because you're already intimate to God. You're already in that conception level. So if a little challenge comes and testimony is not coming your way, you are down, it's because you've not gone through this stage called conception. Then the second one is the forming stage. In Galatians chapter 4 verse 19, it says, My little children for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you. God knows the experiences that is required to produce in us the character of Christ. So what will he do? He will do whatever it is to bring it about. So those are the states that you are formed so that you'll be able to bring out the character of God. So if you've not gone through that stage, that's the reason why you are discouraged. That's the reason why you have given all up. That's the reason why you're saying, you know, I'm not serving Jesus anymore. Why is he not answering me? That's the way your zeal for the things of God is down. The things that you used to have zeal for, you're no longer doing it. Or you used to do it when Jesus Christ answered your prayers. Now the Lord is forming you. He wants to bring the character. And that character in Christ is perseverance. Do you know what it is for Jesus Christ not to slap the people that were arresting him and beating him? Even though he's king, he persevered, enduring the pain, looking forward to that cross, looking forward to 
going through the pain for you and I. So you are going through that stage. Then the last one is pushing. Pushing stage. Pushing. You have to push. God will help you to bring it out. But it is up to, up to you to push. The Bible says, Until Zion traveled, then he brought forth. If you don't travel, you cannot bring forth. So some of us, as children of God, you are at the stage of discouragement and you say, I'm not going to serve God anymore. It's because you refuse to push. You refuse to push in the place of prayer. You refuse to push in the place of evangelism. You refuse to push in the place of giving. You refuse to push yourself and say, you know what, well, Satan, you are not going to bring me down. You are under my feet. So I push this problem down. I push discouragement down and I stamp upon you. The Bible says, for God has given us authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions. Do you know what it is when you push? Imagine if you're in a fight. And you push somebody down. What does that mean? You have the right over the person. That's what David did. When Goliath fell down, he pushed him down. Then he put his leg and did what it was meant to do to him. That's how you must do to the problem. The reason why you are discouraged is because you've not pushed the problem at your feet. You've not told that spirit of anxiety and discouragement and worry at your feet and say, you cannot dictate my mood or relationship with God. I dictate it so you are under my feet. My brother, my sister, think about it. Follow this. Look at it very well. That have I actually gone through these three stages? Maybe because you've not gone through it. That's the reason why you are discouraged. That's the reason why you're not even smiling. Now smile for me. Smile, smile. Jesus loves you. Let us pray. Father, Lord, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, thank you for your son, for your daughter. Holy Spirit, please help us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So you know what you're going to do for me now? Now that I know that you are smiling, you are joyful, you've defeated Satan, you put that problem back under your feet. This is what you're going to do. You are going to like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Shalom.